Hey barbecue family, Kenyatta here. Welcome back to my backyard smoke master barbecue channel. I've got a couple of cooks in using my Weber Summit Kamado. I've done one kind of a hot and fast cook where I did some skirt steaks. And then I've also done a low and slow cook with a chuck roast. And the experience for both was outstanding. What I found with the Summit Kamado is that it is very easy to make micro adjustments and usually you don't have to make many to keep the temperature in the range of what you want. So today is gonna to be my first time doing ribs on the Summit Kamado. I'm smoking them, hoping to keep the temperature between 225 and 275. I've got one slab of St. Louis style spare ribs. And then I've got two slabs of baby backs. All of them are seasoned with the Hogs and Heat Mild and Savory Rub, which is one of my favorite rubs on ribs. So first we're gonna go ahead and see how the capacity is, you know, how these three slabs of ribs are gonna fit. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem so I do have the uh, diffusion plate set. I put in two pans, filled them with a little bit of water, two drip pans, uh, just to kind of catch the mess. So let's go ahead and get this first slab on. I think I'm gonna put the, put the St. Louis spares kind of right in the middle. And like I said, I got two slabs of baby backs. Got one right there. That's the other slab. So really no problem. You know, I didn't have to use like a rib rack or anything like that. So we got our three slabs on. 24 inch Summit Kamado has enough space for that. All right guys, we're about two and a half hours into the cook. Summit Kamado is the temperature. I mean, it really doesn't move much throughout your cook. Not much you have to do. Just check in periodically, make sure things are going the way you want them to. This is probably the last time I'm gonna open the lid for a couple of hours. And you know, I think at this point, I think I will go ahead and spritz this with some water. So I'm gonna get some water in a spray bottle. All right, but I really wanted to come out here just to have an excuse to get my 10 week old puppy Luna on video. And just like any other young pup, she is a handful, let me tell you. Been a long time since we've had a puppy. Actually, we've never had a puppy this young. So this has kind of a, been an eye-opening experience for my family. I think the last puppy we had was, was three months old when we got her. And I just don't recall going through the same things that we're going through with this one but it's i know it's going to be incredibly rewarding as we all get through this teething process and get her trained up so happy to have luna on the team luna luna look 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 over here there you go there you go cutie All right, guys, we are four hours into the cook. Summit Komodo temperature is about 250 degrees. Let's try and get a better look. Just starting to see some signs of pullback from the bones. 
but it's still definitely got a ways to go and I do not intend to wrap these ribs. All right, let me try and get a hold of my sprayer. Everything is still coming along really nicely. So I will probably take another look at these at the five or six hour mark. All right, barbecue family. It's actually now been about six and a half hours. So we're gonna take a look and see how these ribs are doing. smell fantastic so let's get a closer look here so I'm trying to do like the bend test so these aren't quite there yet because they're not on the verge of breaking apart when you pick them up and my spares are in the middle. So yeah, I think I think all three are showing all three slabs are showing signs that they need some more time. So I got no problem with that. I'm gonna spritz them. Alright, so we're going to let these continue on the smoker again, really not having any issues in terms of managing the temperature on the Summit Kamado. So, so I can already say with, with confidence, you know, that this is a great, this is a great cooker. So what has surprised me is that as I've used up more fuel and the temperature outside has dropped, I mean, it was probably 55 degrees when I started. When I last looked at my phone, the temperature has dropped to 43 degrees. The temperature on the gauge here has actually gone up. I mean, right now I'd say it's about 270 degrees and that's without me doing anything. So I found that to be a little bit surprising. So like I said, the ribs have been on over eight hours. So I'm gonna do one more bend test. And if they look right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and call this. Yeah, yeah, see this one is, as soon as I picked it up, it's starting to tear right apart, right in half. So this slab is definitely coming off. And again, no wrap. All I've done is spritz occasionally with water. I like the bend and the spare ribs. Got one more slab of baby backs. and those just broke apart as well. So, it's a wrap. I'm gonna pull them off, I'm gonna cut into one of the slabs. I'm gonna give the other two away to my, one slab to my parents and one to my mother-in-law, but we'll cut into one of these, see how they taste. Thank you, that's good. All right, so I know you mentioned that you, you wish they had some sauce on them. So next time, we'll do the version where we'll, I'll, I'll sauce them yeah. and get that glaze on. But otherwise, how are they? Oh, they're good. They're tender. They have a good flavor. I like them a lot. I'm quite not angry right now, though. I'm just really hungry. 
they're they're very good though i like them and i'm enjoying them so thank you for making them all right yeah something else you wanted to say no i just uh, had appreciated the there's a lot of seasoning on them and it's not super salty which i like and it's just bringing a lot of good flavor so this works for me all right guys so i'm gonna wrap this video up at the time that i'm editing this video it is january the 18th 2021 so at this point i have not yet heard back from weber with regard to the timing of when i will receive the uh, revised weber summit kamado grill um, i have seen on social media where some other folks have been contacted and have begun to receive their units um, so hopefully mine will be coming to me soon as far as the build quality in terms of facilitating cooks i have absolutely no complaints the summit kamado the double insulation makes it really easy to maintain your temperatures Pellet smokers are by far the easiest to cook on. You know, you just punch in the temperature that you want and then the cooker and the electronics do all the work for you. But as far as a charcoal based cooker, I now believe the Weber Summit Kamado, at least out of all of my cookers, is by far the easiest. Getting it to the temperature that I want is extremely easy. I keep the intake at the bottom of the grill only open about a quarter of the way. And then I make all of my adjustments at the exhaust level, at the damper. And you don't have to make many adjustments at all. Uh, very slight adjustments, one or two is all that's needed. It is basically a set it and forget it type charcoal cooker uh, that rivals my Hunsaker drum smoker in terms of ease of use, but I still give the, the nod to the Weber Summit Kamado, I guess because there's just so much you can do with this cooker. You can cook hot and fast, you can cook low and slow. You can do indirect cooking, you can set up two zone cooking, and everything that I've tried to cook thus far has been extremely easy. So really just the uh, wobbly stand is the only negative that I can think of with regard to this, and that's being corrected. So I definitely rate this cooker an A++ with uh, no hesitation. All right, guys, well, I will keep you posted in terms of when I receive my revised version of the Summit Kamado Grill. In the meantime, I'm enjoying cooking on it. If you like what you see here on the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave comments. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Take care. See you in the next one.